my ex-boyfriend broke up with me. I'm in a relationship. <laughs> Wow, considering that Mikey Tua was turning 18 in June and Danielle Cohn is still a minor, he could be facing some serious legal troubles. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Simon Steph, and you guys, Mikey Tua could be facing some serious legal troubles this year. Just before we get into this, make sure to leave a like in the next 5 seconds, or else you'll be forced to listen to Danielle Cohn singing in Spanglish for the next 24 hours straight. Yeah. So as you all know, Danielle and Mikey used to date. They were together for just over a year, and I mean, I'm not gonna lie, they were pretty cute. Freaking nasty little slicking weirdos. <laughs> Other than the cringy music videos they made. Oh, and the fact that he's four years older than her. What? You know, this guy is turning 18 in just under two months and there is something called the law. So in the past few weeks, Danielle has been hinting on the fact that she's talking to someone. I am talking to somebody. I don't know if I'm gonna be single for that long, if that makes sense. She said that she's not saying who the person is, but she did say that we're probably all gonna find out soon because it's not that hard to see. I'm not gonna say who the person is. I'm pretty sure you guys will find out. I'm pretty sure you guys already have an idea. It's not. It's not that hard to see, you know? Which is true because on March 17th, Danielle made a post on TikTok congratulating Mikey Tua on reaching 1 million followers. Yeah, so judging by all of that, she really did hint at the fact that her and Mikey are talking again and they are most likely in a relationship again. And then on April 1st, she finally took it to Instagram Live to confirm it. Now, I'm gonna show you guys the video, but just before I do, she did say before she confirmed anything that she knows it's April 1st, but it's not an April Fool's joke and that she's speaking the truth. It's actually not April Fool's joke, I'm about to say. So, here we go. I know a lot of you guys have been very questionable if I'm single or not. And the answer to your question is that I'm in a relationship. You guys are all right, by the way. You guys are all commenting the right name. Yeah, so judging by that, it's safe to say the two are dating again. Oh, god damn, this girl really can't stay single for a minute. Not even two months after this girl gets pregnant and either has an abortion or a miscarriage, she is already dating another guy. After she dated Mikey last year, she pretty much had a new man every other week. Another one, another one, another one, another one, another one, another one. Another one. So even though Danielle had more boyfriends in the last six months than I have fingers, I mean, at least Mikey and Danielle have a true bond. Before they were dating, they were friends, but then they got super close because apparently Danielle got into an accident and Danielle Cohn's mom, Jennifer, claimed that Mikey Tua saved her life. And like, I completely support the relationship in that sense. Like that is a real bond and you know, it's hard to come across. But as I said earlier, the law is the law. And let's keep in mind that Mikey is literally about to turn 18 years old and Danielle Cohn is 14, which means he'll be facing some serious legal troubles, you know, probably being registered as a, uh, you know, something offender. I, I don't want to say it on my channel just because I want to stay monetized. I'm in university and I, I need money. So yeah. Now I know that Danielle claims she's 16, but she's literally not. Like there's thousands and thousands of hours of videos on YouTube and Instagram literally proving that Danielle was 14. I do have two videos exposing Danielle's age, so if you guys wanna see it, it'll be in the description box below, so go check it out. And honestly, this family couldn't have made it any more obvious that they are lying about Danielle's age because just take a look at this picture which Jennifer uploaded onto her Instagram a few years ago. The date says January 2nd, 2005. Now Ivan, what's so off about that? It literally has a date, how could this be fake? Really? Are you serious? So if Danielle was truly born on March 7th, 2004, as her and her mother claim, then that means in this picture she would be only 10 months old. <laughs> now come on, you expect me to believe that this is a 10 month old? No, a 10 month old baby has a full set of teeth. The answer? None. Okay, so the reason that Danielle and Mikey broke up last year is because Mikey's parents found out the truth about Danielle's age and immediately forced the two to stop dating. This was posted on Katie Tua, Mikey Tua's mom's Instagram last year, which said, let me make it clear. There will never be a time where any of the two will support 18 year old boys dating 14 year old girls. There's this thing called the law. When you break it, you go to jail. 
And around the same time, this was posted on Delvin Tua's Instagram, who is Mikey Tua's dad. So it is pretty lengthy, but basically to summarize it at the end, said Danielle Cohen is not 15. Now look, I personally don't hate Danielle or Mikey. I really don't. When I make these videos, it really, I'm just trying to get the better out of them. And I'm not trying to break these two up for no reason, but at the end of the day, there is something called the law. So the both of them live in California, and this is the current law surrounding that if Mikey was to, you know, remain dating Danielle when he does turn 18 in June. If you were 18 and she is 14, you could be arrested and charged with serious sex crimes. Even if you don't actually have even kissing a 14 year old can be charged as a felony in California. Yeah, so um, I'm literally doing these two a favor by making this video. Yeah, so uh, by making this video, I'm really just, I, I don't want my kids to go to jail. You know, I, I don't. You know, when you truly do love someone, time is nothing and does not mean anything. So if they truly do love each other, you know, they can wait a few years until Mikey and Danielle are both you know, adults. So on the same day that Danielle confirmed the relationship that her and Mikey Tua are back together, Katie Tua went onto Mikey Tua's Instagram live and said this. It's important that everybody know, like Delvin and I, Mikey's mom and dad, took a huge stance last year while Mikey went through his breakup. And um, that continues to stand. We feel that way and we'll always feel that way. Now for a soon to be 18 year old man to have his mother have to go on Instagram live and say that she does not support their relationship. <laughs> So Danielle and Mikey have been saying that they want to keep this relationship, you know, behind closed doors and off social media because apparently they're blaming social media for, you know, all the toxicity and everything. They're saying that their last relationship was toxic because of social media. Social media is so toxic and it just makes things so hard to deal with and it makes more drama that isn't necessary. Which is complete horse because literally no one cared other than the fact of how much drama they caused and also the fact that Mikey you know, has been lied to about Danielle's age and that he's actually four years older and he didn't know that at the time. Now he does. Honestly, me and all these other tea and drama and commentary channels, at, at the end of the day, we just don't want to see Mikey get any charges. So I personally believe that the two are keeping this relationship a secret is because if she, you know, continues to be posting pictures like this, the police are gonna eventually find out. You know, CPS has been to her house multiple times already. If the relationship is public, it's inevitable because as soon as Mikey turns 18 years old, FBI, open up! So guys, I wanna know in the comment section down below on what your thoughts about this whole situation is. Do you agree with Danielle and Mikey being back together? Do you disagree? Why or why not? Let me know. Also make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already because then I know that you guys want me to keep reporting stories similar to these. Also make sure to follow me on my social media. My Instagram is Ivan Steph Official. My TikTok is Ivan Steph Official. My Twitter is Ivan Steph. And then lastly, my Snapchat is shock underscore you zero nine. Make sure to follow me on there. I interact with all of you guys. If you guys have any fan edits, fan arts, or whatever, send them to me on Instagram. That's your best bet. I will be shouting you out if you do send it. But anyway, guys, once again, I really hope you did enjoy this video. And until next time, it's been Ivan Steph. Peace.